Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a review on the Kylie blushes. <laughs> so many of you guys have been telling me to do a review on this since I put this on Snapchat and said that these arrived at my house. So many of you guys want to see if they're worth the money because they are in stock still. So you guys want to see if you guys should purchase this because they are $20 and if you want to get other blushes, it's going to end up like $80, $100, you know. So I wanted to do this review for you guys, a little disclaimer. I'm not hating Kylie, I'm not hating Kylie Cosmetics, I'm not lying, I'm not doing this because I'm on her PR list or I want to be her friend because obviously I'm not on her PR list, I don't get these for free and I'm not her friend so I really have no reason to lie about my opinion on these blushes and I think that if you're going to be spending $20 on a blush you should see if they actually work, if the payoff is pretty, how they look on the skin, how the swatches are, the pricing. Everything about that I feel like is important to know before you make a purchase because money is money and not everyone can afford $20 blushes. So I just wanted to do that disclaimer real quick. Um, but yeah, don't forget to subscribe down below or give this video a thumbs up. And yeah, let's just get right into this video. Well, let me talk about what happened when I got the package. So obviously this is the famous Kylie box that it comes in. So I opened up the package and I thought it was, I thought this was funny. I mean, maybe some people might not think it's that big of a deal, but I think it's just the little things like this are what make a brand and brands should pay attention to. So I got it, you know how you always get like a little Kylie card? So this one says, thank you so much for purchasing your Kylie lip kit. I hope you enjoy using it as much as I enjoyed creating it. I put my heart and soul into each and every kit and I want to thank you for joining me on my journey. XO Kylie. Thank you for purchasing your Kylie lip kit. I didn't buy a lip kit. I literally bought two blushes. I don't know. I feel like I'm the only one that's a little bit like, okay, you should pay attention to the detail in your products. Like, this is your package that your cons customer is getting, the people that buy your products, the people that are helping your brand, and you don't even know what's inside the box. I mean, that's how I saw it. Like, I, me and my sister opened this, and I was like, I didn't even order a lip kit. She's saying, thank you for ordering the lip kit. Like, I hope you enjoy this lip kit. And I'm just like, girl, I ordered blushes. <laughs> so let's get into these blushes. I did kind of play around. I didn't play around with them, but my sister did. So if you see a bunch of, like, finger swatches in there, that's because my sister really wanted to try them out. And I did put it on Snapchat this one instance where she like swatched it and then if you guys had me on Snapchat, you guys probably saw what happened. So I haven't played around with this. I haven't even swatched this or put this on, but she was playing around with it. So just a little disclaimer. So we're going to start off with X rated. So this is what they look like. Similar packaging to her um, highlighters, like the little cardboard box. And then when you open it, you do get a mirror and then you get the blush. So there's my sister's finger swatch. <laughs> So this one is X-rated. I think it's like a peachy nude coral color. I think it's really pretty because, I mean, I love peachy colors. So I'm really excited to try this out on my cheeks and see how this works. So next let's try Barely Legal. Which she was getting a lot of hate for, for naming her blushes like Barely Legal and X-rated and Virginity. Which I didn't find it that big of a deal because like NARS has a blush literally called Orgasm and that's one of their most famous blushes. So I didn't think it was that big of a deal. So this is what um, Barely Legal looks like. This one's like the pinky bubblegum one. Again, excuse my sister's finger swatches. So that is what that looks like. So now let's get into swatching. So first I'm going to be swatching um, X-rated. I'll do a finger swatch real quick. And then I'll swatch it on my fingers so you guys can see. So I'm just going to take my middle finger and I'll just do like one, two, like that. Alright, so a little bit did come off. It looks a little bit chalky, to be honest. There's like a lot of kickback, but I mean, I don't really mind that. So that is what that looks like. You can't really see it that much, but let's see what this looks like on my hand. Alright, so, not the best pigment to be honest, I feel like you can't really see it unless I do like that way, but it did feel pretty smooth, like to be honest, um, it does look a little chalky on my hand, and a little bit streaky, but that is what that looks like. I did bring another peachy kind of girly blush here, so I can show you guys um, how it compares to these blushes, these are like Milani big blushes, but I'll get into that later, so that is what x-rated look like and then I'm going to apply it onto this side of my cheek. I'm just going to dab into it like that. I mean it's pretty coated and then I'm just going to apply this onto the apples of my cheek. 
Alright, so I do see some color payoff. It did take like four or five dips into here to get that color payoff and I was kind of like going like that. But honestly, I'm not mad at the color. I don't think it's as peachy as I imagined it to be. So I'm going to take some of my finger again. I'm going to take this one. This is a different finger and I'm going to run my finger through it and then we'll see what happens. I'll just do it like that. Okay. <laughs> So nothing really came off. I don't know if you guys can see. There is like a little bit of pink there. And let's see how it swatches on my hand. I mean, so you can see it if I like move my hand around. There you go. So you can see that there is some color on there. I'm gonna dip right into that blush Ooh, that is really pigmented. Let me dab off the excess on my hand and then I'm gonna be applying it to this side of my face. All right, so this one didn't have as much pigment as the X-rated one. I did notice I was kind of like struggling to see anything at first and again it did take like four times for me to get any color and to have a little bit of like color to my face but I'm not mad at it like to be honest I'm not hating it as much but I will say that it does take a while to get some pigment and that it does it doesn't look that good like there's nothing special about these blushes I feel like I feel like I could get these colors from the Milani baked blushes like you know what I mean I don't know I feel like there's nothing to be like super hyped out hyped up about this um but I don't know what do you guys think do you guys think they look good do you guys think they just nothing special so I brought one of my Milani baked blushes because these are my favorite blushes of all time I absolutely love these blushes so much and I brought one of them just to kind of compare them because I feel like this color this one is luminoso is kind of like a combination of both of the colors because it's very peachy and pink. I don't know, I feel like it kind of reminds me of both colors and it kind of looks like it kind of has similar tones to X-rated, except this one obviously has a little bit like more luminosity, but I feel like it kind of looks similar. As you can see, so I just wanted to see how this one swatches. I've never swatched this before, so I kind of just want to see. So I'm going to take this finger, a clean finger. Um, there's what that looks like. And then on the pinky finger, I'm going to be swatching um, X-rated so you guys can see what they look like together. Alright, so this is the Milani Baked Blush and then this is Kylie's X-rated. They honestly do kind of look like the same color, like to be honest. Alright, so I'm going to swatch the Milani Baked Blush first. I'll just swatch downwards. Because I feel like you can see better that way. Alright, so there's that one. And then now I'll swatch the highlighter one like right, right next to it. The heck? That came out so weird. Here, I'll swatch it with this other finger, with another clean finger, because maybe the pinky was too small for anyone to see. That's crazy. Like the Milani Big Blush has more pigment than Kylie. Alright, so the Milani Big Blushes I just checked at Target, they're $7.49, and at Walmart, they're $6.97. And then at some Targets, they're $6.99. So basically, they're like $7 to $8. And the Kylie Blushes are $20. And honestly, I felt like I have more pigment on the Milani Baked Blush. Like, do you guys see that? Do you guys see how this is standing out so much? And then the Kylie, you can't even see it. And obviously, this isn't a video comparing the Kylie Blushes to the Milani Blushes. 
but I just wanted to kind of see what happened or which one was better because I feel like they're kind of similar colors to be honest. You know what I mean? Like I feel like they just have similar tones and I don't know, I feel like you guys should save money because these aren't expensive. Not everyone can afford $20 blushes. Like it hurt me to buy them because it is expensive and if I can find you guys a better alternative to the same type of colored blushes and see which one is more pigmented then obviously I want to help you guys out. So honestly, I... I feel like the Kylie blushes aren't worth the hype and aren't worth like the money and how cool Kylie Cosmetics is cool which is like a loose word to use around her brand honestly if you guys want to buy these blushes I probably would recommend not to I honestly didn't think they were that cool I mean blushes are blushes I feel like you can get good ones from Alani from I don't know you can get some good ones from Maybelline too from L'Oreal they have pretty good blushes and also for like a cheaper alternative and I just I feel like I don't know, I feel like I'm not super excited about these blushes, like it wasn't super pretty colors, it wasn't crazy pigmented, it wasn't anything special I feel, and I don't know, I just honestly wasn't really kind of that shocked by these blushes, so I don't know, let me know what you guys think down below about these blushes, if you guys have your hands on them, if you guys like them, if they really wowed you and you thought they were like super pretty blushes and felt really soft had really good payoff um, and looked really pretty on your skin because I honestly don't think they look that pretty on me. Let me know down below what you guys think about this of course. Again, everyone has different opinions just because I wasn't necessarily impressed with the blushes. It doesn't mean that these blushes aren't going to work for you or that you guys aren't going to like them. I just feel like if you're spending $20 on blushes, they should be good blushes that you know work, have great, great pigment and have great payoff and look beautiful and very good on your skin. I just wasn't getting that from these blushes. And I'm not only saying that because they're from Kylie because I want to be like a hater or whatever. I'm just literally being honest. There's no reason for me to lie. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, make sure to let me know down below what you guys thought. And also let me know what other products you guys would like me to review for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.